Godlands is a project. Nigeria failed. Nigeria has failed because that project is not managed well. Now, child upbringing is a project or not? Those of you who are single, raise your hand. You are single, raise your hand. You are not married. Just see projects, see projects. How do I get married? How do I marry the man of my choice? How do I get married to the woman of my choice? How do I get myself set? Is it about marriage or my settling down? And ensuring that as a husband I will not be a layabout? I will be gainfully employed to sponsor my wife and my children? What do I possess? Before saying I want to marry, do I have the knowledge? What laws governing marriage have I learned? Good conduct. Look, the next one is a crime-free society. It's part of governance. It's a project. Marital bliss. Good health. Is good health a project or not? How many of us want good health? I raise my hand. You want good health? To achieve it, you need to see it as a project. I will get there next week. now. Planning itself is a commandment of Allah. Can you see? Allah is himself has commanded the planning. So if you think planning is something you want to do, Allah asks you to plan. Allah says, yeah, That is Quran chapter 59, verse 18. Fear Allah and plan. Look at planning. Plan for your tomorrow. Plan for your garden. Garden is tomorrow. Let each person reflect over what he or she is putting forward for tomorrow. That tomorrow is Sunday. And that tomorrow is your grave. And that tomorrow is your hereafter. That tomorrow is when you marry. What are you putting forward? Are you preparing yourself for the day after tomorrow? So the tomorrow is tomorrow in this world, tomorrow in your grave, and tomorrow in the year after, when you appear before your Lord. Plan, plan, plan. Next slide. Worship extends to business and investments. Those who think, I'm a worshiper, I'm a servant of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks us to have taqwa, and because of taqwa, I want to worship Allah. He doesn't want to think of business. It's about taqwa, about taqwa. He doesn't know that taqwa extends to business. What did Allah say? In Quran 28, verse 77, Allah says, You see the knowledge I have given you, you see to seek the home of the hereafter. Don't forget your, your survivor in this world. Though. Don't forget your livelihood in this world. Don't forget your enjoyment in this world. Don't forget your business, your investments, your income. In this world, that verse is very instructive. Do not forget your share of the world. You are not here to be slaves of anybody. They produce, you only buy. Why are you a buyer? Why can't you be a seller? People who are selling, they did something. One of the things they did was to conduct a customer needs analysis. What did they do? You are not even writing. Those who are selling to you, they conducted what research? CNA. What is CNA? Customer needs analysis in this environment. You watch them very well. Okay. People have challenged there. There is no way they can get here. Okay, let me think of they will surely need somebody to help them take their goods from that place to this place. When I start a business, I'm going to get customers. Customer needs analysis is find out what people need. When there was a pandemic. How many businesses were affected? Pandemic. Tell me the major businesses that were affected. Transportation. Very good. Nobody could move out. Air travel. Travel business. The, this hall was closed. Abby, because of the need for social distancing. So what businesses started springing up? IT. Zoom. Communication through internet. That's, that's customer need. I know of a friend who was operating oil and gas. 
and because no filling station, because no car was on the road, so they were not buying fuel, what did he do? Immediately divest into data. Immediately. Before you know what was happening, he was selling data. In a bigger form. Because everybody was buying data. I remember. So he does not need Zoom. You need data to get Zoom. So you need to think of customer what? No, again, say it. So if you're a fashion designer, you want you don't want to say that I just want to produce clothes. No, what type of clothes do my customers need? What how much can they afford? Because there are different levels. So it's all part of planning. So now look at this verse. If you say Islam is just about Allah listen to you. After you have after you have done that, go up, go to your business. Look at this verse. When you finish prayer, disperse within the land and seek from the bounty of Allah of Allah. That's why Friday is not a holiday in Islam. After Salat Juma, what do we do? And so now we go out and walk. So it is ibadah for you to think of business, think of investment. Next. Do you know this next set of slides tells you if you don't plan, do you know your enemies are planning? Do you know shaitan is planning? And your enemies are planning. So you must plan. Look at this verse. Allah says, remember when those who disbelieve plotted against you. Please leave this verse. Let's look at the next one. And those before them had plotted. the plot. Go to the next verse. I'm still going to give you, but just write on your notes that the enemies are also planning. And Swati Ibrahim, Allah says, and they have planned their plan. But with Allah is recorded their plan and so on. And the next verse says, I'll go to the one that is popular. In Swati Mudassir, in Nau, Fatkara. Fakaro, Fakodar, Fakutila, Kei Fakodar, Summa, Kutila, Kei Fakodar. So the enemy was planning, he was plotting, he was planning. Why will you not plan? Go to the next one. And you know this. In Nahum Yakidu Nak Yakidu Nakaida, Wakidu Kaida. فَمَا هِلِ لِكَافِرِينَ أَمْ هِلِ رُمْرُوَيْدَا Allah says, they were planning and plotting. I, their Lord, I am also planning and plotting. So leave them for a while. Let's go ahead. أَلَمْ يَجِيَ لِكَيْدَا وَنْفِتَدْ لِيدْ The people who came to destroy Kaaba, they had a plan to destroy Kaaba. Allah says, I thwarted their plot. Go ahead. Now, let's go to Prophet Musa, how he planned. How he planned. You see, the disaster in this thing is in all this is You find somebody who is religious, who misinterprets religiosity. Because he is religious. Therefore, he does not want to be identified as a champion in his own or her own industry. Even in school, because of over religiosity, is only scoring P instead of A. Everything he or she has no plan. If some people make first class, you say, say first class, she has a lot of money, a lot of money. She has a lot of money, a lot So they always complain that they don't take us, they don't uh, accept us in industries because of hijab. They see them. Who tells you? If you distinguish yourself, you will be someone who will be employing them. Say, I will be an employer of labor. Everybody say that. So never you say because you are religious, because of that, I don't want to have much to do with dunya. Is there somebody really they say is dunya? Is there somebody who is uh, plotting how to make it? You want to start? Because I've heard about several people who want to start businesses. You have to be realistic with yourself. Our fathers are here to tell us about a lot of things. 
SWOT analysis. What is my strength in this business? What is my weakness? What are the threats? Things that can threaten and make this make nonsense of what I'm saying. And what are the opportunities? We come in, we are coming into that. So things that you need to do, you have to do. In fact, it is religious for you to do things right. So look at Prophet Musa. Prophet Musa, Allah appointed him. Who appointed him? To go and deliver message to who? To Riyal. Is it not sufficient for him to rely on the fact that Allah has appointed me? Does he need to plan again? He planned. And all of you should read this prayer in Quran chapter 20 from verse 25. Say, Rabbi Shirali Sajiri Wa Yassiri Di Amri Wa Hanul Ubudata Min Lisani Yafkuru Qawbi Wa Jalli Wazira Min Ali Haruna Akhi Ushdub Di Azri Wa Ushruku Fi Amri Kainu Sabiyaka Kathira Read now mistake allow make it easy look at Moses Moses said go to the first prayer verse 25 he says my lord yes I know you have sent me but Israeli surgery expand my breast for me it means grant me guidance grant me what he needs knowledge understanding and the next one why you see me amory make this job easy for me this is planning next one after knowledge the next thing is effective communication moses asks for effective what what is the project that moses undertook dawa he wanted to do dawa he wanted to explain the word of god to pharaoh so because of dawa he needed knowledge so if somebody says i want to engage in dawa you need knowledge number two you need effective communication because he was a stammerer a stammerer who could not communicate easily so he needed number three a great companion whatever you want to do you must know how to build a good team so which companion did he ask for a righteous companion whose name was what Aaron. so when Allah says fear Allah and be with the righteous some people are destroyed today because of the friends they keep show me your friend I tell you whom you are you have a friend who we all, the only thing she watches is African magic your life is going to end up as a magician She's not reading anything productive, profitable, no research, nothing to launch you. Everything is about rumor mongering, I'm a voice. Next, let's go ahead. Look at this. Allah praised Ibrahim, Isaac, and Yaakov for being men of vision. Everybody say, I must be a visionary leader. A visionary leader. You know, in the Quran, you see, Ulula Absor, Ulula Absor. Ulula Absor means people who have vision, people who see beyond now. They can predict what is likely to happen. If I read, I pass. I don't read, I don't pass. Go ahead. Prophet Muhammad as a strategist is the next one. What's the next point? Prophet Muhammad has a... Because you have to be a strategist. Some people say, I am a prayer warrior. 
I'll read your sin 40 times. Ya hayu ya koyomo alala ila ila la 7 million 777 times. If you read it, it's good, it's a prayer. But if your plan is to get here at 7.30, they now ask you, why are you praying? They, oh Allah, let me get to Excellence Hotel by 7.30. So two days ago you started Yasin 47 times. They say why? They say I want to get to SLS Hotel at uh, 7 30. Then yesterday it was the turn of Isawaka. You read it 700 times. They say why? I want to get to SLS Hotel at 7 30. Then early this morning you started La Ira Ila La Wada Ula Sheri Kalao La Wa Mulikwala Uli Amdua Wala Kulisha in Kodir 3333. All these prayers are good. Unfortunately, and you are living at uh, Ikeja. I mean, Mowe. You are living at Mowe. At seven o'clock, you have not entered the bathroom. So today, Rabbi. Meanwhile, Koka Yasi, your can read only one Yasi and do what you need to do at the right time. A car free disbeliever will get here before you, with all that you have read. Allah helps those who help themselves. Before you beg Allah, beg yourself that, hey, Ablakim Ablatif, the De La Sico, enter the bathroom, oh, there is traffic of two hours, plan it, oh, so you need to leave home at 5 a.m. Oh. Everything must be planned. Look at what Muhammad Sassalam did. He was to do Hijra, Abi, from Makato. From Mecca to Medina, it was sufficient for him to say that since I am the prophet of Allah, and Allah is the one who inspired me to go ahead, I should be able to do it without planning. Prophet Salam planned for his trip. You know, he asked Ali, Rodi Allah Ali, to cover himself with his clothes, his garment, so that they would think it is Muhammad who is there. Do you think his intention was to kill Ali? That was not the intention. It was a strategy so that Ali will return the property of people in his custody because people believed in Prophet Muhammad. They believed in him. So they put their properties in their custody. Even the disbelievers. If you give Muhammad money, it was a sure bank. You will get your money back. So because of that, they kept it. When Professor Salam now realized that he was going to Medina, he did not say, eh, I will go and... No, Ali returned it to their owners. Look at the second strategy. He chose a good team. You know, we mentioned it during the time of Musa. Abi, Musa chose a good team. Who was the co-traveler of Muhammad? Abu Bakr Siddiq. So choose your co-traveler. Tell the person beside you. Tell the person beside you. Choose a righteous co-traveler. The next thing, he chose Abdullah ibn Urakit as the guide. Abdullah ibn Urakit at that time was a disbeliever. But he was the one who knew the other way to Medina. You know, there was a shorter route to Medina. He did not follow the shorter route. He took a longer way. He took the path that pe people would not even expect. Assuming Professor Salah was coming to Bega. Look at where Bega is. So everybody expect that he would just follow this way to Bega. In order to deceive the people, he went to uh, Alimasha. Where was he coming to? Bega. And he took Moshe. He suffered on the path. They took a different path. Elohim Nua. It is the people they can predict their movement. That is not good, too good for you. A Muslim must be a strategist. He did not take the normal route. He took a different route to get to where he was going.